Hello everyone in Hong Kong, this is Ted Yoho in Washington, D.C. I represent Florida's 3rd Congressional District. And I just want to tell you that we in America are offering you a word of encouragement because what you're doing is the right thing. You're standing up for freedom and liberty. And I have here a placard that was I hold very dear and I treasure this. This was brought to me from the students and the people that were leading the protests in Hong Kong. And it's not to subvert Chinese government control uh, and rule of law from China. This is to stand up for the liberties and freedoms that they were guaranteed in the handover of Hong Kong from Great Britain to uh, China uh, that was supposed to last for 50 years. And the way the protest started is there was peaceful demonstrations um, recognizing and standing in sovereignty of Tiananmen Square that happened uh, from April to June of 1989, where the Chinese Communist Party came in and squashed that peaceful demonstration for democracies. Um, the people of Hong Kong have followed in tradition of having a sovereignty memorial of standing up and recognizing the price paid by the people of Tiananmen Square. And then what happened after that is Carrie Lam and the Communist Party forced an extradition bill on the people of Hong Kong and they saw the heavy rule of China coming in, subverting the agreement between Great Britain and Hong Kong and China. And uh, the people in Hong Kong began a protest that started peacefully. The Hong Kong police, with Beijing's interference, cracked down on these students and started calling them terrorists, um, uh, people that wanted uh, independence. And when I've talked to these students, they don't want independence, they want China to follow the rule of law. And I am so thankful that I live in this country. In fact, I've got one of my favorite ties on. It's We the People, it's our Constitution, and I carry with me this book here. It is the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution in total. And if you look at it, the, the, the thickness of this, we can all agree it's not an epic in volume, but you know what it is? It's an epic in ideology when you have a government that protects the rights of the people. And as our Constitution starts out, it says, we the people, we hold these truths to be self-evident. And it goes on to say that we created government and give them the consent to govern us. And the neat thing about our constitution that we take uh, and we hold very dearly every day, and I think about this, is our government empowers the rights of the people. By doing that, it allows us to grow. And that reminds me is if you look at this picture right here, this is green grass, very lush, very young and tender, and it's growing. It is designed for success as we are. And as this grows, it flourishes. But if you have something to suppress it, like asphalt, it squashes it. And I think we can all see that uh, the asphalt road, you don't see any grass growing here. And then if you look at, if I were to ask you, which is stronger, the asphalt, or the grass? It's an easy question. The asphalt is definitely stronger, but if I um, demark these and say this is liberty and freedom and this is Communist Party suppression, which is more powerful? And I think this represents perfectly what is more powerful. Freedom and liberty will always succeed. And you, the students and the protesters in Hong Kong, you're standing up for liberty and freedom and I want you to know that we, the American people, and me as a member of Congress, we're standing with you. You take care and God bless and we'll see you later.